Tonight we will get a look at Troy's new dorm. And incoming freshmen learn about the about the performing arts. Stay tuned, Troy Trojan Vision News starts now. From the High Definition Production Center of Troy University's broadcast and digital network and Troy campuses around the world, this is Troy Trojan Vision News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision News for July 21st, 2015. I'm Chelsea Itell. And I'm Samantha Kokan. Thank you for joining us this evening. The new school year for Troy University starts in less than a month, and some Troy students will start the year off in a brand new place to live. Austin Cofield gives us a look at the progress on the construction of Troy's new dorm. The student body of Troy University continues to grow. The university itself needs to grow along with them. Upperclassmen and graduates may remember Alumni Hall, which was one of the major on-campus living residencies. Now a new building is near completion where Alumni Hall once stood. Well, it's a night and day difference. Uh, you know, old uh, building, our alumni was double occupancy rooms, traditional dorm, community baths. Uh, a lot of things were retrofitted in alumni as far as, you know, the, uh, so the internet access and Wi-Fi. This building, everything is complete in there. Private rooms, private baths, TVs, so, I mean, uh, as we look, it's, it's just a night and day difference. The building, for now, is being referred to as the new residence hall. The building will be able to fit over 400 beds and comes with many new features, including new safety features. Uh, one safety feature that it will have that none of our other residence halls have, uh, it will have a safe room in both wings. In the south, you know, we're prone to having tornadoes, and so this will be a safe room. Uh, if there's the winds blowing really heavy or there's some reason, you know, for us to get into a safe room, uh, students can go down, and it's equipped with bathrooms and even a shower if needed. While most of the rooms in this building will actually be single occupancy, there will still be the option to live in a double occupancy room as well. And the good news is, students don't have to wait to live in this brand new living residency. It has been a difficult schedule. It was uh, some of the contractors who looked at the project said it couldn't be built in a year's time. And it has been quite a challenge. But we've got it in hand now and students will move in on the 1st of August. Austin Cofield, Troy, Trojan Vision News. For information about living in the new dorm, you can visit housing's website at troy.edu slash housing. As of now, the new dorm is full for the fall, but representatives from housing say openings could become available after move-in weekend on August 8th. High school and incoming college students are on campus this week to learn more about the performing arts. During the summer spotlight, intensive camps. Haley Greathouse has the story. This week high school and incoming college students come together for the Department of Theater and Dance's Summer Spotlight Intensives. This program encourages performing arts education in the areas of performance art and technologies and management. With only one week to prepare for their showcase, the students have been hard at work. These days are long. We call it an intensive for a reason. You would be up for warm-ups at 8, and then you would start going to your classes. So five training sessions. In the evening, we do rehearsals for our showcase. Students come to the camp looking for new opportunities. We offer a variety, acting, movement, dance, stage combat, uh, design, sound production, costuming, rigging, stage management. They may also be looking to work with guest artists. We have lots of guest artists who come in from all over the country. Alex Piper is one of the guest artists, a Troy alumnus who currently has a fellowship in Washington, D.C. at Shakespeare Theater. So I'm teaching a variety of things, a lot of techniques, movement. Uh, general acting methodology, so just a whole spread to give them a little bit of variety. One student says he is learning new things. I um, actually really enjoy the puppetry class. I've never done something like that before. But also working on weaknesses. I'm not a very good dancer, so um, I signed up for dance class. Overall, the hope is for students to grow in their abilities throughout this experience. I hope they leave tired and fulfilled, and um, I hope they've gotten what they've come for. Just a lot of more experience and different things. Like, I signed up for puppetry and stage violence, I believe, um, because I've never really done those things. And so I kind of want to get out of my comfort zone just to learn a little bit more. Hopefully, if they're genuinely interested in it, they'll find other ways to delve into it further. Haley Greathouse, Troy, Trojan Vision News. The Summer Spotlight Camp's closing performance will be Saturday at 1 p.m. in the Trojan Center Theater. 
And now taking a look at news from around the state. A prosecutor says the 14 year old boy accused of firing a gun at Riverfront Park after a Montgomery Biscuits baseball game will likely be charged as a juvenile. The Montgomery County Chief Deputy District Attorney says the suspect will likely stay in the juvenile court system because of his age and because his criminal record consisted only of misdemeanors. A group of armed volunteers have started standing guard outside military recruiters offices in Dothan. The volunteers are guarding the offices after five servicemen were killed last week in attacks on Military Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And forecasters say they expect a heat wave to continue in Alabama, prompting a heat advisory that covers most of the state. The National Weather Service issued the heat advisory today for parts of northern Alabama and all of central and south Alabama.